What is up guys, Winster live with another video. Before we get into today's video, I do want to thank those who have been uh, returning and showing some support, some love. Really appreciate that. It does go a long way. For those who are just tuning in, my name is Winster. This is The Average Fighter. Uh, today's theme uh, on, on the video is going to be something that I've really been thinking about lately. Something that is not only going to shed light on myself, but is definitely going to shed light on the FGC of Arizona as a whole. Really bring some light onto lesser known players. Uh, before we get into all that, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, any support does go a long way. Uh, also, all my social media, my Twitch, uh, my Twitter are going to be down in the description box. I'm going to make sure to leave that there if you guys you know, want to go ahead and check that out. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Alright guys, today's video is something, um, my origin story if you will. Uh, I really wanted to talk about how I got into fighting games and uh, what I've been doing during and how the practice is. Um, my love for fighting games really stemmed from when I was a kid. Um, my mom would take me to go do laundry or go to Walmart and uh, I just liked playing video games at the time. Um, and she would give me like five bucks and I would, she would leave me at the games. She knew I liked playing video games and that's where I found out about uh, Street Fighter vs X-Men uh, and Marvel vs Capcom 2. When I played those games, I instantly fell in love. I love like superheroes. I, I knew about Captain America. I knew about like Iron Man, and that was so dope. And all the like crazy colors, of course, when I was young. So uh, that really attracted my attention. How crazy the game was. Um, but this was like early, early like maybe like 1990 something. I was I was I was a baby, I was a young little kid. Um, from there, it just really kept growing, you know, I'm like, man, this is cool, is there anything else like it, right? And so after that, uh, my grandma actually bought me my Super Nintendo, my SNES, and that's where I got Street Fighter Alpha 2, and then there, I was just hooked, you know, I was hooked. <laughs> uh, after that, I really got, uh, after that, I just started playing, and I kept playing, and the years passed, uh, I got a little older, and uh, I got, like, all the fighting games that hit the PS2, Xbox One. Uh, the only one that ripped our Xbox One, Xbox, uh, the ones that only hit the Xbox that I can remember or uh, that I was able to get my hands on was Street Fighter 25th Anniversary and um, uh, they had like Third Strike and Alpha, all the all the crazy ones. They still have it, funny enough. Um, and then Capcom's Fighting Jam, um, I had all those on my Xbox and also my PS2. But uh, after that, I really stopped playing because no one played fighting games everyone was like at the time starting to get into halo um as i got into high school mid high school i really found out about like the fighting game as a whole uh i i got marvel's capcom 3 because i liked number two and my, one of my friends german he was uh he was another one that really pushed me we would practice every day yeah when the game first came out all we had was his xbox i didn't have one at first 360. I didn't have one at the time, so I just went to his house, stayed the night, and um, I definitely we just like play all night. And we only had one controller, so we only could play like arcade mode. So we would play arcade mode until we gave up or until we lost. And because no one knew how to play the game, we would always lose the, the arcade, and um, we would just keep playing until someone won and you pass the controller. After that, that's when things really took off. In high school, a good friend of mine. Um, I was good at the game, and uh, from what I, from in my little mind, in my little world, I was good at the game, I was beating all my friends. Uh, then I found out that Ultimate Drop, when Ultimate Drop, one of my friends showed me, like, Team Spooky. And uh, that's when the Curly Mustache, I think it was at the second one that I watched, it was number two. That's when I found out everything, and I was like, how do you do this? And uh, I just started going to the Hazbats, found out about the scene, and started playing. And when I really found out how competitive things are, I was just like, I need to be number one. And one of my greatest loss is when I first started playing. And um, it was to a good friend of mine, Armando, some of you know him as Jelly. Uh, I remember the first tournament I went to, I made top eight. And um, he was in top eight with me. And I think I, uh, it was like, I think it was like winner's semi, like semifinals. No, it was it was something along, something along those lines. I can't remember. But, um... Uh, I remember I played him, and I something about him like really upset me. I was like, man, I don't like how this guy's playing, and uh, I just like really was upset. And I got my shit rocked. I got that shit was rocked, boy. 
I, I showed up and he showed up with this thing and I was like, what's Shuma, what's Shuma gonna do, you know? And I misunderstood the squid and I got my shit rocked. And from there, that's a, that that loss and the mix with, because my friend went with me to the tournament, uh, his name was Jesse, uh, he went with me to the tournament and uh, his sister was making fun of me. He was like, ha, you, you fucking lost. You suck all the time you input into the game. You still lose. And then I was just like, man, I was so salty. You don't understand the salt levels. I should have worked at a salt mine after. I was just mad salty. And then that worked really like, yo, I'm going to start playing this game. And I would literally play this game nonstop. I played it and played it and played it until I couldn't play it anymore. My, at the time I had, I just got a new job. I was like maybe a couple months in. And I would, all I would do is literally go home or work go home play marble until i quit i would practice like maybe five four hours a day i would literally just that's all i would do i'll just practice combos i was practicing my movement a lot <laughs> that really really helped me um and from there it just kept growing and uh it really pushed me it really did uh i heard a lot of times a couple players that undefeated um I met a couple players and uh, some of them I was like, why didn't you enter the tournament? Oh, well, I know I'm going to lose, you know, like I don't want to lose the money. And I see the reasoning. Sometimes you just don't have the money to spare. I really wanted to do this type of video to really, uh, anyone on the rocks about going to locals or going to majors, do it. You're going to enjoy every second, every minute of it. It's going to be worth the money. And if you don't have the money, I understand. Um, I'm not balling. Ain't nobody balling here, man. If I was, I wouldn't be making these videos. Uh, <laughs> I probably wouldn't, but n needless to say, uh, if you're on the rocks, consider doing it, man. You're going to meet a lot of great people. I mean, I think over half of my friends are FGC uh, members. I met nothing but great people. And uh, if all year, and if you're beating all your friends and you think you're hot, come and test it out. See if you're good. Um... But just consider just joining, man. Like, showing up is half the battle. Uh, and I'm going to be honest with you. It, it it takes time to get good at any fighting game, whether it be Marvel. It just that's my poison there. But uh, whether it be Street Fighter, Marvel, keep at it. Keep practicing. Put your time in. Time, uh, your the fruits of your labor are, will show. And just keep pushing to try to be the best player that you can be. Learn every mix up. Learn everything that you can. Um, that's something definitely I should be practicing, something I should definitely be looking into because I don't really f like do frame data, I just know what kind of works, but uh, yeah, again, you know, I just I just hope this really motivates someone to uh, check out the scene and see what it what you could do, what you could learn, um, all the faces you'll meet, I met countless people, I remember one of my ba best memories is from like SoCal, uh, SCR, I think it was like 20... 14, 2013, it was me, Fizzy Cuts, and Ninja Nam. That tournament was so fun. We would hang out with them. It was such a great blast. And um, I didn't even, I, I got like, I think I went 0 2 in that tournament. No, I went 2 1. Yeah, I went 2 1. I got my shit wrong. Uh, but was it worth it? Every single penny. Every single penny. Um, and again, you know, I just hope this motivates someone at the end of the day and really shows up. Um, with that being said, um, now I really need to get into training because Evo is around the corner. Um, I'm actually going to go. This is last Marvel's last year, at e or Marvel 3 at that, uh, last year at Evo. And I don't want to be there to miss it because this game has brought me, has made me so many of my friends, allowed me to meet people, allowed me to go places, places I've never thought I would be going to play a fucking fighting game. Um, and uh, it's just definitely something that I don't regret doing. And all the time that I spent, people tell me at work, like, hey, like, how do you, how can you do that? Just play, sit in front of the screen all day. It's, it's much more than that, you know? And I think that could, honestly, that could be said about anything, but like, I love this. I love everything about it, the chaoticness. And this is now, this is, we're speaking particularly in Marvel, but like, I love the chaoticness, how crazy it can get, how salty people get, how salty I've been. There's, there's countless videos out there. If you guys are looking for like my salt videos, just, just type in any TGC tournament and you'll definitely check out the salt uh, of, of the levels that re were reached when I was playing. Um, but 
uh, my final advice to anyone that's struggling to get out to get out there um, embrace the soul do you ever want to feel like that again do you ever want to lose the way you did if you would have known what specific combo you would have won, would you have won the tournament push forward um, keep moving forward and definitely just practice man because at the end of the day that's all it's about practice with everyone and anyone um, but now that uh, this video is done I need to get back into the lab myself I need to definitely practice my uh, Dr. Doom Virgil um, you know hopefully I could put a little more time into it uh, because you know Persona 5 and Kingdom Hearts is around the corner and that's something that's definitely going to take up my time uh, but I'm definitely going to go ahead and put a lot more time into it uh, but with that being said, I do want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, my name is Windsor, and I'll check you guys out later.